Today I want to show you how to make a custom chatbot that uses GPT-4's API. Our bot will be fully customizable, and at the end you'll have a link that you can share and text with your friends so they can check it out too. If you want this bot to use GPT-4's API, you'll need to request access from OpenAI. I have a video explaining how to get approved for GPT-4's API access, along with a quick video on how to set up your API billing account. That will get you access to your API keys, something we'll need later on. The videos are super short, and I'll link them in the video description below. If you don't currently have access to GPT-4's API, this will work with GPT-3.5, which is currently available to everyone. I had a few people ask me how to switch from 3.5 and GPT-4's API, so I'll show you how to update your bot from GPT-3.5 to GPT-4. First, we'll run our bot from Google Collab by going to collab.research.google.com. You may need to set up an account to use this, but no coding experience is required. Collab is free and very easy to use. I prefer it because you can run Python code from any browser window. Once you have your account set up, you'll need to open a new notebook. So go to File, New Notebook. Once that loads, we'll start with our first piece of code. If you're not familiar with Python, you first need to load programs into the Python session that you have running. The code that you create after this will call on that program to perform tasks. In this case, we're going to use OpenAI and Gradio, a chatbot user interface that has a lot of potential uses, but we'll play with the basics today. So we'll do exclamation point, space pip, install, space OpenAI. Then simply press enter. And then to load Gradio, we'll do exclamation point, pip, install, Gradio. And then you can hit uh, the little play button there and it will actually load that then into your window. This may take a minute to run. It's gonna pull in all of the OpenAI programming um, so that you can access the API, uh, as well as Gradio's uh, chatbot user interface. Cool. So once you get the check mark, that means the code has loaded successfully in your collab window here. Then you can press plus to load a new line of code. And we're going to import OpenAI and import Gradio now. So import OpenAI, enter, import. Gradio. Uh, same thing, hit play. That one loads pretty quick. All right, next you'll need to link your OpenAI API key. So to do that, we'll add a new line of code again, and then we'll type in openai.api underscore key, and then equals, and then in parentheses, paste your API key from OpenAI. Again, your API key will be different, so watch that video so you make sure you get the right key. Once you have that, hit run. And now for our last section of code, which is actually the bot that we're making here. So do a new line and paste this section of code here that's in the video description. All of this is in the video description. Uh, if you wanna just copy it all and do line by line or you can follow along. But what this does here is messages is the setup for the bot that you're creating. This is giving context to your chatbot. So for this one, I said, you are a life advice bot. You have the personality of a California surfer bro and answer every question from a surfer bro tone. The next line here is giving the, the user input and calling on the OpenAI API. So this here is the important line where this line has this calling on the GPT-4 API. I've commented out, if you do this hash sign, it makes it so the code doesn't actually run it. So if you don't have GPT-4 API access, you can hash mark in front of GPT-4 and then unhash in front of 3.5. And this will then use GPT-3.5 Turbo in this case. But yeah, so I'm gonna use four, a little more powerful, a little better responses. And then the last line here, is the reply to responses from user inputs. This bot will load your context from up here and answer whatever questions a person asks with the context of the surfer bro in this example. This last line down here is the Gradio interface. So this is where you can customize uh, some of the titles and everything. So I've labeled my bot advice bro. Uh, the last thing here is the demo, if you set this to true, then it'll give you a link that you can share with people that they can open on their own browser. Uh, it only works for 72 hours, but it's still kind of cool if you wanted to show off to your friends and text them a link and uh, you can come up with some pretty creative chat bots here. So let's run this and it'll think for a second. And then you can see here, it actually gives you a user interface. This is the Gradio function that we've loaded. So 
You can type into this user input section, what should I get my girlfriend for her birthday? And then click submit. And then you'll see it's actually running over here on the side. So it's calling on your API and then it's loading the response from ChatGPT4 here. Uh, and so then the response here, dude, like for your girlfriend's birthday, you should totally get her something gnarly and thoughtful, you know? Maybe book a chill beach day, pack a picnic with her favorite munchies, and give her a sick pair of sunglasses or a super rad beach towel. Just remember, it's all about vibing out and spreading the love, bro. That's my impression. Now you can take this link right here and copy it. And if you send that in a text message or in an email or uh, to anyone, it will allow them to load this uh, advice bro or whatever chatbot you've created. And then they can put their own inputs in here. They won't see the context. So you can come up with some pretty clever, creative chatbots and then they'll get their the response based on the context that you gave it. But they won't see that as, a, as the input. They'll only see, well, here, I'll show you. We'll paste it here. They'll only see advice bro input output. So this is what someone would have on their uh, mobile phone if you texted it to them or if you email it to them. This is how it would look in their browser. Keep in mind, this is calling on your OpenAI API account. So you will get billed for the like 03 cents per thousand tokens. But yeah, just something to keep in mind. So you don't share it online and a bunch of people run up the bill on your API billing account. But anyway, I thought this was kind of a cool tool and a way to ease into using ChatGPT4's API, something that you can kind of share with your friends and have some fun and get creative with. So if you liked it, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and uh, let me know in the comments what you come up with. Thanks.